What moved Abraham? What moved Abraham, the father of all nations? Faith. He believed every word God said. He didn't question God. He was moved by the word of God. And no one moved Abraham be able to be called the father of the Arab and the Jews because he didn't question God. He believed the word of God. Many of us, God has called us to go back to the scriptures and believe and obey and walk in the scriptures. What moved? What moved David? You know what moved David? The covenant of God. When he went before the giant, he was a little shrimp this big. I'm bigger than he was, trust me. He was a little boy, a little lad, L-A-D, the Bible calls him. A little lad. A little lad is under five. And he went against the giants. In those days, you could buy soldiers for a dime a dozen. But there was no easy takers for killing a giant. A giant killer could have been, could name his own price and have it. Even the king Saul said, whoever kills the giant, I'll give my daughter for marriage. I was spared from paying taxes. I asked all these asses. Excuse me. <laughs> and then, and then I said, um, and I will make him the chief of my army. David said, the king, keep your wealth. There's something deeper that moves me more than the everyday things. I'm a man of the covenant. Yep. And when I see this man who is uncircumcised, right. who is not the covenant man, yeah. it burns me up and yeah. makes me angry yeah. and causes me to say, why, why we can kill the devil? Why can we destroy the things in the church yeah. which are no good and the things of our nation that are evil? Oh, he said... I'm moved by my covenant God. Yes. For when I make a covenant, he will keep the bargain of his covenant. Right. Hallelujah. And then, lastly, who's God himself by Jesus. Lord, what moves you? What moves you toward us? What moves you, Jesus? Why you left the heavenly palaces? Why did you leave the Holy Ghost and your Father, the angels, the cherubims, the seraphims, the archangels, and all the billions of angels there? Why did you come on earth? Just, oh, you know what moved me, church? You know what moved me, world? One day he was walking. He looked at Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. How many times he was weeping. I wanted to gather you. As a chicken gathers her little ones. But you have refused to accept me. So I'm motivated. I'm moved. But my father's love for you. I'll die on the cross. This morning... What moves you? What moves the church of Christ to make a difference in our city, in our neighborhoods, in our nation? 